Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video where today I am obviously in a very different location because today I am in Birmingham for one of my tour dates and I thought this is the perfect time to play some more blind Pokemon Go because I can play it over a few days, I can catch hopefully lots of different Pokemon and you guys seem to absolutely love the first video. So what I'm going to do is quickly take a trip to a shopping centre known as the Ball Ring and on the way I'm going to be clicking away on my Pokemon Go. Plus. But of course, I'm not going to be looking at the screen, so I'm not going to know what I've captured until I get back. So what I think I will do over the next couple of days is do a trip, come back and check my journal, because the journal overwrites, and when you're playing with the Pokemon Go Plus, you pick up an absolute ton of stuff. So the journal overwrites after a certain amount of hours. So I want to check up as much stuff as I missed out on as possible, and yeah. Let's go for a trip. I'm also going to use this amazing Team Instinct hat that a fan gave me at a tour date yesterday. How cool is this? So I'm back for my mini Pokemon Go Plus adventure, so let's see what happened. I caught a few, but I'm pretty sure most of them fled. So first off, let's have a look at our Pokemon. Now let's just go straight in and go for recent. And we've got a Poliwag, that's a 425. A Meowth, that's a 424. That's actually really, really good. A Drowsy, Zubat, Drowsy, Pidgey. Caterpie, Zubat, Oddish, Spiro, Seal. That's not bad. Rattata, Pidgey, Spiro, Pidgey. Zubat, Eevee, Krabby. I've got so many. What's going on? <gasps> I got a Mr. Mime! No way, it's only a 61, but it's a Mr. Mime. That makes up, kind of, for the one that we missed out on last time. Well, not really, because the other one was a 750. But we've got Mr. Mime, and I'm pretty sure it ends on this Krabby here, so not too bad. I'm not sure what came out of the eggs, though. I'm not sure what kind of eggs they were. I'm guessing maybe Poliwag and Meowth were eggs. What else seems out of place? The Eevee seems out of place. That better not have been a 10k. That better not have been a 10k. I don't know. I don't know if it was or not. I have no idea. <laughs> but now, more importantly, what did we miss out on? Let's go to our journal and see what ran away from us. So, Poliwag, yeah, it tells us what's hatched. So, Poliwag was hatched. Meowth was hatched. Drowsy. Are you kidding me? Another Mr. Mime ran away? A 705? These Mr. Mimes. What are they doing to me? I can't believe that actually just happened. Look, 20 seconds. That's today's day. Oh my goodness, it actually ran away. We've got Zubat, Shelda, Drowsy. We've got all those that we knew we caught. Oddish was caught as well. A coughing ran away. A 501 coughing. That's kind of annoying. Really good Pokemon here in Birmingham. Okay, Eevee was caught, so it wasn't a 10k egg. I was a little bit worried then. Another Meowth ran away. A coughing ran away. We've got some eggs restocked. The Nidorans were both hatched, which aren't too bad. Jinx and Golbat ran away. Yeah, look, there's that Mr. Mime we caught. That is awesome. So even that small trip was cut off by the journal. Another really powerful Mr. Mime ran away from me. But overall, not too bad. And we got some pretty good hatches too. So, um, yeah, let's move on to the next destination, which I think... Newcastle, of course it is. Okay, so let's see what kind of Pokemon Newcastle has to offer and play some more. Blind Pokemon Go. Hey Newcastle, how's it going? Now I've actually been here for about two days already. This is my third day, and today I'm about to do a book signing. So I have a small window of opportunity to play Blind Pokemon Go while I'm in the car to my book signing because the book signing is in the center of Newcastle. So there should be tons of Pokemon ready to go, and there's a really awesome new spooky update just for Halloween, which is going to be awesome. It means we can catch loads and loads of really unique, spooky Pokemon, but I'll go over that in a second after we go and look at the results of what is about to happen. Right, um, see you guys in a sec. Okay, so welcome to Newcastle. Okay, I admit it, we're in Cardiff, but I have been playing some blind Pokemon Go, and I know that I have captured a brand new Pokemon, because while I was driving around Newcastle and a little bit in Cardiff as well, there was an orange light that came up on my Pokemon Go Plus, which means a new Pokemon, which isn't in my Pokedex, popped up and it went rainbow, so I've captured it. So I'm so excited to find out what we've captured. And the big Halloween update is active right now, which I'll talk about in a second too. Right, so let's talk about the Halloween update first. So the first thing that's really awesome is there's loads of new Pokemon around. So spooky Pokemon like Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar, I think Cubone and Marowak, Zubat, Drowsy, all those ones are much 
more likely to spawn around you, which is awesome, so we can finally get our hands on those Gengars. <laughs> also, your buddy Pokemon take four times less of a distance to be able to harvest their candy, like this Pikachu. Look, 0.25 kilometers to get one candy for a Pikachu, which is amazing. And also, the eggs are different colors as well, but we can't see those without looking at our Pokemon. So, let's take a look. So we go into Pokemon, we go into um, Recent, and let's see what we picked up. No way. No way. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Guys, guys, I told you. Look, spooky update. We got a Marowak, a 530 Marowak. That's a new Pokemon. I told you there was an Amber button. There was at least three Amber buttons, which was amazing. And we got ourselves a Gengar. How on earth did we get away with that? With Pokeballs. The Pokemon Go Plus only uses Pokeballs, which is insane. I cannot believe it, guys. I actually cannot believe it. A Gengar, that is insane. We've got Krabby, Ghastly Meowth, Cubone. That's a new one. We've got two really good Cubones, which is awesome. 20 away for candy for that. But we can also make him our buddy so that he gets he gets candies a lot quicker. Um, what else? Drowsies, Ghastlies, two Haunters. That Haunter is good. I can evolve that into an even better Gengar. I might do that, but I'll wait for a bit first until the end of this video. And I think that might be it. We've got Oddish, Seal, Spiro, Eevee. Now, let's go into the journal and see what's going on there and see if anything got away from us. Oh, and look, the eggs are orange. Any egg that you get while the Halloween update is active is orange, which is pretty cool. And look at our nearby. Look at that, Pikachu found a candy already. Amazing, good job buddy. So we got Haunters nearby and all the water Pokemon because I'm near a lot of water right now. <laughs> right, it's journal time. So Pikachu's been collecting candies for a while. Um, Ghastlies, what's been running away? A Magikarp ran away, why? <laughs> we had a Marowak run away from us, that's pretty big. That's crazy. Cubone, that's when we caught our Cubone, which is awesome. Anything else? Oh no, there's loads of Cubones down here. That's crazy. A big horn to run away, 631, 634. That's the one we caught though. That's much better, which is awesome. Oh no, that one at the bottom. Oh, that one at the bottom. The Gengar ran away, an 845. What's the one that we got recently? Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Oh, that hurts so much. <laughs> One that is just under three times more powerful than the Gengar we actually caught, ran away. Okay, that stings a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? I cannot complain with that. So what I've got to do today is get on a plane and head to Edinburgh. So I'm going to have one more session of blind Pokemon Go in this video. That's four different cities and one brand new update in one video. That's pretty awesome. So guys, I'll see you there. Welcome to Edinburgh guys. Yes, our fourth city in one video now I haven't had a chance to go and explore Edinburgh yet because I've got a book signing in literally an hour But I have been playing blind Pokemon Go hitting this button as much as possible on my way to and from the venue last night So I've actually got a couple of Pokemon to look through. I think I'm not 100% sure I definitely encountered Pokemon don't know if I call them. <laughs> so let's find out, shall we? There are literally Ghastlies and Cubones everywhere. Look, it's crazy. So let's check our Pokemon real quick. So we're going to Pokemon. Is it sorted by recent? It is. <gasps> what? What is this? What is this? I completely forgot some eggs hatch. So what I do when the eggs hatch, I cover the screen like this and just press the little tick at the bottom. A Porygon? Porygon's one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that. Does that come out of a 5k or a 10k? I don't even know, but Porygon. That's amazing. We also got another Ponyta. Look at this. An 8, 5, 7, and we're only 7 candy away from making that into a pretty awesome Rapidash. We've got three Ghastlies, of course, Drowsies, Cubone, an 18 Haunter, which is absolutely awful. 69 Ghastly. Is this the Gengar from earlier? I think it might be. So I didn't actually catch that much whatsoever. Let's see what eggs we've got. Um, might be able to hatch those today, but I don't know if I'm about to catch it in a video. But um, if I do, that would be awesome. I've got two more eggs to incubate. Do I have incubators? No. I ran out. But let's get to the more important bit, the journal, and see what on earth we missed out on. So here we go. God, Pikachu found a candy. A Haunter ran away. A 432. I'm still looking into evolving a Haunter because I have enough candy for a Gengar. Because I want a Gengar that can take down Jim. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, Krabby ran away. Got the Ghastly. Um, got more Ghastlies. 
more ghastlies, a cubone ran away, another haunter ran away, there's so many haunters, gengars, drowsies, cubones and marowaks everywhere, uh, Pikachu found candies, yeah look, Porygon was hatched and Ponyta were hatched exactly the same time, that is incredible, haunter ran away, all these spooky Pokemon keep running away, look at that! Only Cubone was caught. <laughs> Another Haunter ran away. That was a 642. Oh, that's a little bit annoying because that would have been a really good Gengar. Meowth as well. Pikachu keeps find, finding candies. And then we're back into yesterday. Oh, that was actually pretty good. I am so, so, so happy with Porygon. Oh, amazing. And of course, this Gengar that we just so happened to catch with a Pokeball with the Pokemon Go Plus. That is insane. Gengar, why don't you stick your tongue out, buddy? I was expecting that. Oh, I'm disappointed. But yeah, look, we have 139 Ghastly Candy because we're catching so many Haunters and Ghastlies and stuff. And the candies are times four. They're at least times two, which is crazy. So I should be able to evolve a Haunter. Let's see what our most powerful Haunter is in the minute. It's a 634, so we can actually evolve that into a Gengar. And I might do that at the end of the episode. So yeah. Porygon, everyone. An actual Porygon. And it's a 932 as well, which isn't bad. And we got loads of candy from it as well. Look, 42. Candy, should we power this bad boy up a little bit? Let's power him up. Plus 23 per time. Okay, that's not too bad. Right. I still can't believe that Porygon. So awesome. Right. I need to edit this video and then I need to get to my book signing as quickly as possible. So I'm actually going to end this video here. We got some crazy, crazy captures and hatches in this video alone in four different cities. In Blind Pokemon Go, Gengar, Porygon, a really good Ponyta, and Marowak and Cubone. Loads of new Pokemon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and would like to see some more Pokemon Go more often because of the awesome Halloween update, go and get it if you haven't already. And then please do leave a big fat thumbs up on this video. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDN today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you guys again so much for watching. You are awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!